I'm back to vlogging. Hi guys, welcome back to Bree's channel. My name is Tati and Ooh. Oh my god, I'm trying to show y'all that I'm in the car. Oh my god, I'm trying to show y'all that I'm in the car. And I don't know how people vlog on a daily basis because this is like Oh, Hold on, y'all. Yeah. You ready for us? But I want each and every one of y'all start dropping them eagle emojis in the comments, baby. We done kicked off our 2024 eagle series, okay, for this year, baby. We we revamping that thing, 2.0 eagle series. Each and every one of you, I want you to know and understand that you are a leader. That God has called you to be a leader, baby. Drop them eagle emojis in the comments. If you know and you believe that this is your season of leadership, this is your season to find your purpose, this is your season to get in your gift and to start leading and start dominating in the gifts that the Lord has given you. I came to let each and every one of y'all know, baby, that you are not just another social security number. You're not just another statistic. You ain't just another, uh-uh, uh-uh. You an eagle. You are an eagle, baby. Come on now. And you was built for high places. And I came to get some eagles out the chicken coop today, baby. You been in some low places. You been accepting less than what you deserve. You been dealing with folks that don't recognize your worth. You been trying to communicate your worth to some chickens when they don't even speak your language. It's no I blow in glaze. Come on now. It's no I blow in glaze, baby. They don't even speak your love language. They don't even speak. They can't even comprehend what you putting out. The Lord say you're living too low. You're living too low. I remember when he spoke that thing to me, baby. He said, woman, you're too low. He said, I need you to come up. Come on now. Somebody put that word in the comments, baby. Say hi. Hi. That's what I hear today. That's what I hear God speaking over the divine ones today. I hear the Lord say higher, 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 higher. And just when you start to get comfortable on that level right now, I hear him say, take it up a notch, baby. It's time to go higher. It's time to go to the next level. It's time to get the next breakthrough. It's time to get the next miracle. That's it, baby. Y'all put that thing in the comments. Say higher, higher, higher. What we say all the time, they got to re-meet me. <laughs> They got to re-meet you, baby, because just when they thought they knew you, just when they thought, come on now, just when they thought they hadn't seen the best of you, God take you up to another level. God take you higher. God start using you in a way that that's going to blow your own mind, baby. These folks ain't seen nothing yet. Somebody put that in the comments real quick, baby. Said they ain't seen nothing yet. Ooh, they ain't seen nothing yet, baby. They counted you out because they thought you was a chicken. They counted you out because they thought, oh, he ain't gonna never be able to make a comeback. She ain't never gonna be able to make a comeback. They counted you out. But somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say they ain't seen nothing yet. What we said on the other video, tell the enemy to stay tuned. <laughs> Tell him to stay tuned, baby, because he ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. Because I hear the Lord say that this is your season, baby, to stretch the wind. Are you ready, baby? That's what I hear the Lord say. You better get ready. You better get ready, get ready, get ready. Because this is your season to fly. Somebody put this in the comments. After you say they ain't seen nothing yet, I want you to put this in the comments. Say the wings are fake. The wings of faith, baby. Put that thing in the comments. I see you soaring over the enemy. I see you soaring over the storm, baby, just like the eagle do. Somebody put that thing in the comments. Say, I ain't worried about now devil. I ain't worried about now hater. Come on now. I ain't worried about now enemy because I'm stretching out the wings of faith. And I hear God say, just like, mm. Just glide, baby. Do you understand me? God has called you to be an eagle. He has called you for high places. He said, no longer can you sit in the chicken coop. No longer can you sit on that broke down job. No longer can you sit in that broke down relationship. Come on now. No longer can you keep living your life sick. Disease after disease. He said, I'm calling you. It's time to stretch out the wings of faith, baby. Just like the eagle do. And it's time to glide. Ooh, we glide today, baby. Ooh, somebody put it in the comments. Say, just glide, baby. The divine ones glide today. We stretching out the wings of faith, baby. And we just glide. Come on now. Eagles are fearless. 
I want y'all to understand this about who you are. Because see, for a long time, I lived inside of a false identity. For a long time, I let the devil lie to me. I let the enemy tell me all kind of lies. And I accepted these limitations about myself. I accepted this, these certain, this reality that the devil had me living in. That I was only supposed to make a certain amount of money. I was only supposed to live a certain kind of way. I was only supposed to uh, work a certain kind of job and oh, these type of incomes and these type of salaries and the, who am I talking to, baby? These type of lifestyles, they ain't for people like you. They for such and such. The de God said the devil is a liar. You're an eagle, see? But you gotta open up your eyes today. I command each and every one of y'all eyes to be made open today. Oh yes, baby, I'm big talking today because I'm standing on kingdom business. I command each and every one of y'all eyes to be made open. I command your ears to be made open today and receive the word of the Lord, baby. God said it's time to stand on kingdom business. It's time to stretch out the wings of faith. Glory be to God. It's time to recognize who you really are. See, one of the biggest tricks that the enemy plays on you he 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 tried to convince you that you ain't you ain't nothing. You ain't got no power. You insignificant. You don't matter. But God say the truth of the matter is, baby, that you are more powerful than you could ever imagine. He said, when you receive my Holy Spirit, he said, you shall receive power, baby. That's where the power come from. It don't come from within yourself, but the power comes from the Holy Spirit. So we got to receive his spirit today. I want y'all to put that in the comments, baby. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Mm -hmm. Let the devil keep sitting over there with his face all balled up, mad. Come on now. Ain't nobody mad but the enemy. Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say, I receive it. I receive it. It's some folks that thought that you weren't going to never make a comeback. Come on now. It's some folks that thought that, oh, he going he gonna to die right there. He, I'm going to leave it right there. She's going to be stuck right there. But I hear the Lord say that you shall make a comeback. But you got to receive my Holy Spirit today. And when you receive the Spirit of God, baby, you're going to get the strength to stretch out your wings. Ooh, you're going to be just like them baby eagles. They didn't even know they could fly until Mama Eagle pushed them out their nest. Come on now. God said when they fired you, when they lied on you, come on now, when they betrayed you, when they rejected you, when they talked about you, he said that was me pushing you out the nest because he said once you was out on your own, you figured out what you could do. See, you got to get on your own to figure out what you can do. You keep snuggling up on the mama them. You keep snuggling up on the grandma them. Come on now. You keep snuggling up on the pastor them and riding, trying to ride off pastor them coattail. And you can't never stretch out your own wings of faith. Come on now and figure out what God made you to do. It's time for every bird to learn how to fly. <laughs> It's time for every eagle to learn how to fly, baby. You are eagle. You can't get comfortable in the nest. You can't get comfortable over there with them feathers, baby. Mama eagle going to start removing them feathers from the nest. And Mama eagle say, come on, baby. It's time to fly. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, come on, baby. <laughs> put it just like that. Put it in the comments, baby. Say, come on, baby. That's what I hear your heavenly father saying today. God say, I am Mama eagle. That's it. That's it. Put it in the comments. Say, come on, baby. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You sitting up down yourself. You sitting out saying I ain't never gonna be nothing. You sitting out saying I ain't never gonna amount to nothing. You sitting out saying I ain't never gonna get out of this stuff. And the whole time, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is telling you, come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, you gotta get up and speak life over yourself today. You gotta say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. With strength in me. See, that's how you stretch out the wings of faith, baby. That's how you stretch them out. Glory be to God. You start speaking the word of God. You start standing on the word of God. That's how you stretch out the wings of faith. And when everybody else is losing their mind, y'all better hear me today. Because you're going to see them fall. Do you understand me? I'm talking about the best of the best. I'm talking about the ones that you put up on a pedestal. I'm talking about the ones you said, oh, I know they got it. Oh, I know they successful. Oh, I know they this and that. God say, baby, you gonna see. 
you gonna see the best of the best because the enemy is crafty. He, the Bible says that he will fool the very elite. Come on now. He will fool the very elite if it was possible. And you, you could be a chosen one and serving God and still be tripped up. That's why God say every day, you got to activate your spirit of sharpness. What we talked about on the last episode, you got to activate your eagle eye. You got to turn on the eagle eye and you got to activate that spirit of sharpness. You got to watch. See, got to watch. Got to watch, got to pray, got to be sober, got to be vigilant. Like the word tells us, you got to be on your post, baby. Somebody put this in the comment and say, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. You'll be surprised at what you catch when you watching and praying. Come on now. You'll be surprised at what kind of traps and tricks and ditches you see being dug for you when you watching and praying. But if you drunk in the spirit and you got your head in the clouds and you gullible and you believe in everything, you gonna miss it. You gotta watch and pray. It's in the fruit. Come on now. Jesus told us you gonna know them by their fruit. It's in the fruit, baby. A tree is known by the fruit that it bears. You can tell me all you want you an apple tree, but if I don't see no apples, I'm not finna believe you an apple tree. <laughs> Come on now, I ought to see some fruit. That's the way the eagle use his discernment. The eagle don't just trust in and everybody, baby. The eagle gonna test before he trusts. Y'all better hear me today. Come on now. Stretch out the wings of faith. Stretch out your wings. I hear God say, have confidence in me. Have confidence in me. Don't throw away your faith, baby. Your faith is your confidence in God. Even when it looks like things ain't gonna come through for you. Even when it look like ain't no way being made for you. Even though it look like, baby, that this storm is gonna take you out. You gotta understand that you are an eagle and eagles do not run from the storms. Eagles are fearless. Put that in the comments, baby. Get your journal. Y'all got y'all journal in your blue ink pen. Put that thing in your journal, baby. With your blue ink pen, say eagles are fearless. <laughs> Come on now, put that thing in there. Get that journal, that blue ink pen. Y'all know you you a divine one. You done figured it out by now. I can't watch Toya. I can't be around Toya. I can't be in the room with Toya unless I got my journal and my blue ink pen. Eagles are fearless. God has called you to be an eagle. See, He says I have not given you the spirit of fear. He said you ain't get that from me. Eagles are fearless. When the eagle see the storm, let me tell y'all, baby, the eagle gets excited. The eagle gets happy when he sees conditions that produces a storm. Glory be to God. When a, when a storm starts stirring up, when the clouds start moving, getting darker, come on now. When the winds start picking up, when other birds run and take shelter, the eagle take off. The eagle say, ooh, come on now. He said, this is my opportunity to soar. This is my opportunity to fly higher than I have ever flown before. Listen to what I'm telling y'all today, baby. When you get that doctor's report and they tell you this is what we found in your, in your report. This is what we found in your body. This is what your x-rays looking like. Come on now. And they telling you some news, some bad news that you don't want to hear. You got the eagle baby and you gotta activate that fearless spirit and god says do not be afraid but he said this is my opportunity to heal your body this is your opportunity to let the glory of god shine from within you because how can people know y'all better hear me today how can they know that he is a healer if your body ain't never needed no healing how, did, how can they know that he is a, a restoration god if your marriage always been sunshine and rainbows that thing ain't gonna need a little restoration every now and then <laughs> it gonna need god to touch it every now and then baby how can they know that he is a healer if ain't no ain't don't nobody never get sick god say this Oh, come on now. He said, this is an opportunity. You got to turn on the eagle eye. You got to be just like the mama eagle. When mama eagle see the storm, she gets excited. Ooh, this is my opportunity to go higher than I have ever gone before. Some of y'all, you dealing with raising children on your own. You don't know how you going to make it. You don't know how you going to pay them bills. You don't know how you going to make ends meet. You trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Come on now. But I hear the Lord say that this is your opportunity, baby, to stretch out the wings of faith and just glide. Mm, just glide, baby. Y'all put it in the comments again. Say just glide. 
every piece of hard time that I fell on, you better know and you better believe, baby. I used it to my benefit. Ooh, eagles are not afraid of the storm. Eagles are not frightened by the storm, but the eagle uses the storm for his benefit. Come on now, you gotta start looking at these situations when these folk lie on you, when they talk about you, when they betray you, when they reject you. God say, don't look at that as a problem, but he said, look at that as your opportunity to grow. This is your opportunity to elevate. Come on now. Your problems are your opportunity for transformation. I want y'all to write that down. Ooh, you better, don't miss that. Don't miss that. Come on now, that's how to say it. I can't miss that. Write that down. Your problems are your opportunity for transformation. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. What you say? I got to drink a little bit of my green juice off of that. <laughs> I got to drink a little bit of my green juice. Wait a minute now, Toya, what you say? My problems? My problems are my opportunity for transformation. I'm gonna grow from a problem. I need to get this thing solved. I need to get, you talking about some transformation and all this stuff. I need to get this thing solved. How I'm gonna get this thing solved? Your problems are your opportunity for transformation. Write that down. Write that down. When y'all wrote it down, I want you to tell me. Put done in the comments when you done wrote it down. Put done in the comments when you done wrote it down. <laughs> when you get you driving or you doing something you can't write right now, come back to this video. It's gonna be a replay over here on YouTube. Come back to this video and make sure you write that down. My problems are my opportunity for transformation. Come on now, Teresa say she wrote it down. Charlotte say she wrote it down. Sherry wrote it down. Keisha Hill wrote it down. Okay, come on, come on. Put done in the comments when you write that thing down. Sister Webster wrote it down. Okay, my auntie Sylvia Jones wrote it down. Come on now, Caritha Ponder wrote it down. Marquita wrote it down. Write that thing down, baby. Say my problems are my opportunity for transformation. So what does that mean? The next time you get some bad news, the next time you get a phone call, the next time you get some 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 negative information, some negative news, something going on, understand that this is the storm. See, these are the conditions that produces the storm. Remember that you are an eagle. Remember that the eagle does not run from the storm. See, like other birds, the chickens and sparrows and all the common birds, they go hide in the bushes and in the trees. They take shelter. But when the eagle sees the storm, the eagle takes off. The eagle say, this is my opportunity, baby. You got to look at your problems as your opportunity. You've been praying for transformation. You've been praying for a breakthrough, right? You've been praying for it. But see, God don't send it. He don't send the answer in the way that we think. He don't send the answer in a way that you recognize. That's why you got to be transformed. Come on now. That's why you got to get transformation in your mind, baby. Just like Romans 12 and 2 told us. That's why you got to be transformed by the renewing. By the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to see what's going on. Then you will be able to stop being tricked and fooled by the enemy. Then you will be able to see that this is not a problem. This sickness that the doctor told me I got, this is not a problem. These diabetes that the doctor told me I got, this ain't no problem. These leg pains, these back pains, come on now. This ain't no problem. This is an opportunity for my transformation. See, this is an opportunity for me to get serious about my health. Mm. This is an opportunity for me to start watching what I'm putting in my mouth. This is an opportunity for me to get up off my behind in this chair, watch Netflix with this more control and get out here on this track and start walking. Even if I can't do nothing but walk to my mailbox, I'm gonna get out here and walk to my mailbox. Even if I can't do nothing but get out here and, and walk the circle around my house, walk the perimeter around my house, the doctor told me I got X, Y, Z, but that ain't y'all, ain't worried about that. This is how eagle talk. I ain't worried about that, baby. I see y'all. You saying I ain't worried about that? This is my opportunity to get serious about my body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on now. When I was at the heaviest weight that I had ever been before in my life, 
I used to sit and, and watch how my feet would swell. My feet would swell up so big. My feet and my legs and stuff would swell up so big to the point where my feet was unrecognizable. They didn't even look like my feet. Come on now. When I looked at that. I said, this is my opportunity to get up and start getting serious about my health. This is my opportunity to start getting all this unnecessary weight off of me. This is my opportunity to start eating better. This is my opportunity. Come on now. Y'all got to get this thing today. The eagle don't run from the storm. When the eagle see the storm, the eagle take off. Take off in prayer. Come on now. Take off in action. Because you got to put some action behind that thing. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. Oh, every time I start walking, I have technical difficulties. That's the devil. Understand? You have what? I have technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> what time is it? I actions are you moving on the word of God? That's it, baby. Come on, Sheila.